once the hair is twisted up and secured flatly to the head, we're just going to spray a little bit of hairspray to tame the baby hairs that may be sticking up. So we're just going to give it a little spritz and then flatten those hairs down. Especially down here, she had a lot of baby hairs, so I just bobby pin that. We're going to spray that. And now we're ready to apply the wig cap. This is a wig cap. It's basically like a stocking, and um, it may be cheaper to just buy stockings than a wig cap. You can find wig caps at most Halloween supply stores or um, wig stores. So what I'm going to have you do is put both of your hands up to the side of your head and point your fingers out. Perfect. That gives me a little bit of a mount. Stick them up a little higher. And I'm going to mount this. All right. And you can release. We're going to try to tuck all of those little hairs up in there. And then we're going to pull this cap back down over the back side. And then we're going to pull this to her hairline because you don't want this showing through the wig. Should secure all of those hairs. We're just going to make sure all of the baby hairs are tucked up into the wig cap. Now we're ready to apply the wig. So I'm going to apply this from the front. So I'm going to put it on her forehead and then pull it back and then adjust. We can see the wig cap poking through here so we want to pull the wig down to hide that. You're just going to smooth it out, any flyaways, and you're ready to go.